What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a gradient background like this one. This canvas is 3840 by 2160. Go layer, new fill layer, gradient, and we'll just name this one gradient. Make sure it's set to linear, and we'll change the angle to zero. Click on the gradient tab, basics, select black and white, shift the white to around the center, click on the black over here, and click on the left hand side of the gradient. This will now set the gradient to black, white, and black. Select OK. And if your gradients look just like this, so right click on the gradient layer, convert to smart object. Next, we're going to start to mix this up. So we'll start with filter, distort polar coordinates with polar to rectangles selected. It should, the preview should look like this. Select OK. So this has now started to blend our gradient and give us a couple of different sections. Filter liquify and we'll start with the twirl tool which is this one here and a brush size of around 1000 density around 50 pressure around 50 and rate of around 20 so just click and drag from side to side or in an oval sort of shape and this should start to blend like that now select the forward warp tool which is the top one and with a brush size of around 1000, density of about 85, and a pressure of about the same, about 85. Now you can click and drag. Once you've got your desired look, select OK. This will apply the liquify effect. Now we can always go back and change it if we want to in the future. You can just double click on the liquify field. We're going to start to add some color. Click on the adjustments tab, gradient map. Click on the gradient tab here. And now we can add some colors. If you have preset gradients, you can access them here. You can quickly reverse the mapping of the gradient map here by clicking on reverse. Now we're going to add some noise. With the top layer selected, layer, new fill layer, solid color. We'll rename this to noise. Select a medium gray. Select OK. Right click, convert to smart object, filter, noise, add noise. We'll add around 15%. Make sure Gaussian is selected and Monochromatic is selected. Click OK. Click on the blend mode and change it to soft light. This looks like a bit too much noise. So double click on the add noise and we can reduce this. Thanks for watching everyone. If this helped you out, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.